My name is Jimmy, his name is Jake, and this is The Weekly Dumb. We're joined by all the men in the Frog family mm. today. A couple boys on the side. At FedEx is a boy. Loveless Lyle, obviously not in this grouping of pictures. Never hangs out with them. And that's fine. Yes. Uh, big weekend, Jim. Big weekend of reflection. Our baby James turned one. And he started walking. And then the next day he said, nah, nah, I don't really want to Over walk. it. Yeah, so he's crawling again. It's cool. And your mother-in-law turned me into Build-A-Bear about uh, five minutes into the party. Well, I gave you the hat, which really completed it. Five minutes in. I'm shirtless at a one-year-old birthday party getting dressed by Jimmy's mother-in-law. You looked good? I looked great. Did you feel good? Not row back good, but good. World Series ended. Jim, the World Series ended this, this weekend. This is the sports segment, Zach. Your Houston Astros defeated Zach's. Phillies in six games in the World Series. The Astros won the last three games. Philly, they were up 2-1. Their offense couldn't be stopped. The best team won, James. Sports. The best team did win. The Astros are the much better team. They're deeper. They're better. Their pitching is crazy. Uh, very nice feeling Dave. for Dusty Baker and Trey Mancini. Both those shots, we were like, man, that is awesome. Lance McCullers gave a speech that he practiced in the mirror a bunch, and yeah. it came off kind of flat. Yeah, Jim, that's a, it's an age thing a little bit, because our, our Dan Rourke, who's tw 11 years old, Sorry, Dan. Uh, he said that was the coolest speech he's ever seen. So Celebrations are hard when you're not in the celebration. Like, those emotions are right. usually corny. We shouldn't be it. connected. But he that. practiced that. Like, he wrote, he, like, in his Often. head, like, wrote that down a lot, a lot, a lot. There's, like, rhymes to it. We, like, we turned off the lights in the electric factory. Something like that. Throughout Seattle. I was like, oh, man. And then when it's dark. Jim, this is almost a breakdown you're telling me about. Could have been sporty. This is sports. This is Bishop Allen girls field hockey. They were in, I'm guessing, the quarterfinal. And it goes into penalty, penalty flicks. Wanted to ask resident field hockey expert Sam if this is a high school thing or if there's like penalty shots, which I've seen. And the girl uh, just puts so much English on it. Shh. Like alley cat strike style. And then the goalie, instead of just covering it, which I, I think is allowed, tries to like bat it away and, and misses and it goes in. It's one of the more bizarre scenes. As a goalie, I think I would have used my legs because uh, you have those massive pads on them. Or even the stick. Credit where credit's due. Lauren B. with the winner. Um, you know, let's not focus on she made she made a play. Congrats to Lauren B and the uh, Cardinals. Good luck. Hope they win the hope they win the championship, eh? Uh, enough enough with the rap. Bring the hook right back. James, more sports. Novak Djokovic, the Joker. You know, you saw the match where he was playing. Could you say that guy's name for, for us? Who he was playing? Stefanos uh to Sisipas. What is that? How do you say that name? Is that Greek? <laughs> it's like Sisipas. <laughs> it's tough. Uh, we should have a montage of everyone coming here trying to say that name. Sisipas. 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 Tzikipas. If you want to see a group of Serbian men make a sketchy mix, this is the video for you. It's awesome. The one, the one, the older man who's three deep, at one point sees the. Someone's filming them, and he's like, oh. And he's like, hey, hey, hey. Spin, spin. And then, then they, they guard cool. it. They guard it. All that playing it cool, and then they just hand it to the ball girl. who's Sisyphus. Sisyphus. Almost as shady as you can be publicly. Yeah. And then they just hand it to the ball girl who just runs across the court and then says, I got it from them. Yeah. He's like, I got it from them. They asked him. He said it was his magic potion. You'll find out soon. I can't speak about it now, which is a long way of saying... I'm never talking about this. And yeah, looked up a couple things in tennis. Every 18 months, if you get drug tested, two times you can say no, no excuses, no anything. Just out. Oh, no, not today. Uh, no, actually, I took steroids, so don't count this one. Not happening. It's wild. Jim, some people say you look like a toad. Unless you're wearing your rowback, you look great. But... The National Park Service says it's telling people to not lick toads, which is just kind of like... Yeah, this is bullshit, man. This is man. a little thank you. If someone sees this toad 
and wants to lick it, yeah. that's Darwinism. You let that person lick that toad and what happens, happens. America. Like, we can't be stopping people who are that dumb. You wouldn't lick that toad? No, there's lickable toads. This toad. I think that's a good looking toad. No, it's like a ball sack of toads, which some people, and that's fine. It's a Sonoran Desert toad. I think also known as a Colorado River toad. And they're super poisonous. And they're saying, don't lick it. Can I read this message from the Park Service? Yeah. As we say with most things, you come across a national park, whether it be a banana slug, unfamiliar mushroom, or large toad glowing eyes in the dead of the night, please refrain from licking. Thank you. Perfect. Thank you. Perfect voice. The scumbag from Maine's cousin who got a national park job. The scumbag that does Weekly Dumb sometimes that's on the dock in Maine. Uh, Ripper? Ripper. 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 That was Ripper's cousin who's it like... It sounded like Ripper's girlfriend, to It's be Ripper's cousin who's like the good egg of the family. Like, they take care of the national parks. Oh, there's the toad makes a good call, though. This toad is... Uh, I, I put the video on for Zach. Like, the ribbit or whatever, it's pretty good. Are we anti-toad because we're pro-frog? I've always wondered that. I've been pro-toad. It's big. I'm a toad. Don't say that. Is he? Don't say that. It would make sense because they found him on the door. It'd be a dark secret. That'd be like the end of season six, and everyone would be like, what? Big Dumb's a toad? And then someone's oh, like, yeah. I called it, I called and it. Season three, episode four, you can kind of see him. He's toadish. This employee of the week has no toad syndromes, Jim. Tell him, tell him. I'm giving employee of the week to you and BBD. Fuck that. Okay, just BBD. All the streams. And the postseason streams, a lot of late nights, a lot of work, and the setup was crazy. Like six cameras, streaming. You were got it because you got there, got do You ran out of words. I put them in the wrong order. They all started to sound alike, and then I just ran out. That's toad behavior, bro. You would have got it, but you denied it, so BBD gets it. I'm going for employee of the year. <laughs> none, of that, none of that weekly shit. Is there some thing as... Oh, no, Jim. And the show is out. That was a weekly day. Today's episode was brought to you by Roback. I love Roback. I truly do. I wear it all the time. Like, if you see me out and about, I'm probably wearing one of the lightweight Roback hoodies that I'm wearing on today's show because they are the best. And they got shorts dropping this week. So go to Roback.com and use code DUMB for 20% off your first order. That's spelled R H O B A C K.com for 20% off all performance polos, the quarter zips, the tees, and the hoodies with code DUMB. Senior year of high school, me and my buddies played our school's field hockey team, blew them out, um, and I saved a penalty flick. Um, my prom date, Julia, wasn't happy with that. She were doing flicks? Yeah. Did she put a lot, not enough English on it then? Not enough for me. Yeah. Enough, <laughs> enough, for, enough for the Bishop Allen's TDCAA's semifinal opponent. Quarterfinal. Quarterfinal opponent. It's like the distance of me to Jake. I'm Bishop Allen. Who is Bishop Allen? Famous guy from Ontario, you think? Google it. Do you think he's a bishop or his name is just Bishop? Bishop Allen, Bishop Allen. It's a band, indie rock band from Definitely Brooklyn, New York. Them. Go check out Bishop Allen. Damn, right man. How'd they get it? How'd they? I mean, it's got to be just be a bishop named Allen. It's a great guess. As good of a guess as you'll find. Damn, I don't know.